Hello and welcome, I'm Kira Scrivener and today I'm here to talk about the Women's Prize. I meant to do a prediction video and I never got along to it, but I want to talk about the 10 books very, very quickly that I hope or think that will make it and then I'll do a few anti-TBR and then I will watch the reaction. So the first book that I have on it is The Ren the Ren, the second is The Grit Divide, Night Bloom is the third, Anita Diamante Laughs the Last is the fourth. Enter Ghost by Isabella Hamad, which I think won because I accidentally opened my uh, Instagram and saw it and went, oh no! And then we have Absolution, Tom Lake, Western Lane. This is a repeat from the Booker Prize and I really hope that it might make it. We have Dominoes and then we have the extension of Irina Ray. And yeah, those are the 10 that I would be overjoyed to see win. I know it's supposed to be 16. We have the Anti-TVR. I don't want Fraud to make it. I didn't like it. I didn't like see Pam Zhang's first novel, so I hope that Land of Milk and Honey doesn't make it. I really have this, like, dislike of Julia. I don't know why everyone seems to love it, and something just... I don't like 1984 that much, so maybe that's why. I like Animal Farm a lot, but I don't like 1984, so I think I'm just, like, unappealed by retelling of it. And then we have some previous winners. We have The Memory of Animals, A House for Alice, Let Us Descend, The Story of the Forest, and The Future. Okay, so those are the books that, if they're on there, I'll be overjoyed. And now I'm going to go into YouTube and search it out. I always love the Women's Prize. I think it's so wonderful to celebrate women in fiction and the various things that they do. Okay, I'm seeing like all of the reactions to it, which I don't want to see. I want to see the actual prize. Okay, Women's Prize for Fiction. Here we go, guys. Hello, I'm Monica Ali. I'm the chair of the 2024 Women's Prize for She is the author of Brick Lane, which I hope this becomes popular because the ebook or the audiobook I can't get from my library and I really want to read this. Oh, we just see it. Okay, normally I feel like they give us a little bit. Okay, A Trace of the Sun by Pam Williams. Megan Nolan, Ordinary Human Failing. Okay, this was just on my library app and it was available and I was like, should oh, Western Lane. <laughs> Sorry, I got so excited. I just saw it. I was trying not to look at the others. Okay, um, I saw it, but it's about like a murder of a small child and about the feelings around that. I was like, I don't think... I want to read that book but I also felt like I should have reserved it before everyone gets it so I get it from the library so I probably should have done that. We have Soldier Sailor by Claire Kilroy. This is a very popular book about a child and a mother and the thoughts of motherhood. I like kind of not felt that intrigued by it but I will give it a try if I can find a copy. We have The Wren the Wren! Yay yay yay! We have The Maiden by Kate Foster. Is that the historical book? Okay I feel like I have heard about that book but I feel like I hear about a lot of books but if it's the one about murder as well. Slives? Slives of the century of old tricksters? Oh, eight lives. That makes more sense. I'm still so happy. Okay, eight lives of century old tricksters by Marine Lee. Night Bloom. Okay, I was so excited. Meaty's first novel, which is called His Only Wife, I loved. I adored that novel and I have spoke endlessly about it and no one read it. So like Night Bloom, when it came out, I was like, there's a little author that I love and I'm so excited that she is getting recognized. Okay, I'm so excited. In Defiance of the Act by Effie Black. I feel like I've heard about this one as well. Western Lane, Chet Maru. I uh, finally have available ability to read this because it wasn't published when it was on the Booker Lawn list here, so that's excited. Or it was, and then I didn't read it physically. I don't know. My own problems. We have Kate Grenville's Restless Dolly Martyr. Maunder. I don't know what that means. River East, River West. Okay, this is another book that a lot of people said was going to make it, and I just, I haven't felt intrigued by the cover, but then I saw the British cover and I liked that better. Okay, we have Brotherless Night. I love that cover. So we have Enter Ghost. This is a book about a Palestinian woman who goes back to Palestine and she is part of a Hamlet production and she's like looking at home and stuff and I feel like that's so good. And then she fell. I missed it. Okay, this is a Canadian author who is local to me. She grew up like within like 30-ish minutes? 40 minutes near Hamilton, Ontario on a reserve there, which is about 40-ish minutes for me. So that's super exciting. I wanted to read A Mind Spread Out Across the World as well as this one, but her books are very heavy sometimes, so I have been slightly afraid and intimidated with reading it. But the fact that it's on this list, I'm really excited. Okay, we have Karen Lord, The Blue Beautiful World. I don't know that book either. So that's super cool. I am very surprised they just gave it to us. Oh, I think I missed Hangman. I think I skipped straight over that. By Maya Binnen. That one sounds cool too. Let us see if they'll give us more descriptions than what I just gave. 
A Trace of Sun by Pam okay. Williams follows the story of a mother and a son set in the 1960s. It is heartbreaking, it is courageous, and it will leave you full of hope. Restless Dolly Maunder by Kate Grenville follows the life of Dolly, who is restless. Uh, it starts in the 1880s in Australia, rural Australia. And Australian books so often don't get Ashley on these lists because they're not published until later in the UK often. And that is really sad, so I'm really glad to see this. And it follows her ambitions to live a bigger life than the one she's been given. River East, River West by Aubrey Liskew is set in Shanghai in the 2000s. Western Lane by Chet Lamaru is one of those exquisite books in which not one word is wasted. The Blue Beautiful World by Karen Lord quite literally takes a knife to climate change and opens up what humanity cool, cool. is going to look like in the future. The Maiden by Kate Foster is a historical thriller set in the 1600s. It is gripping, it is tense. And I think this is the book that I'm thinking of. I think Katie from Books and Things have talked about this book and that's the book. Okay, that's really cool. It is a wild ride. The Ren the Ren by Anne Enright is Sorry. such a joy to read. It's so psychologically astute. It's written in this beautiful, limpid, evocative prose and it, it will you won't be able to stop reading it in defense of the act by f i have to pause here for a second to just say julia did not make it the fraud did not make it i'm so happy i just like realized that when i was like i've seen all of the books and everyone was like julia is a slam dunk and i've been sitting there being like no no, I don't want another demon copperhead where I'm like, I don't want to read this book and then I have to read it and then I hate it and then everyone loves it and I feel bad. <laughs> oh, I am so glad I don't have to relive that again. Oh, so beautiful. Black is a hilarious and poignant life-affirming essay on the benefits Ooh, of suicide. Essays. Also, you would believe. I have a lot of feelings about assisted suicide as someone who has a disability, and I think that it feels very personal in the way that sometimes people view things like that, and as someone who's a survivor of suicide. So I feel like she meant that it's going to be subverted, but I feel like that one's gonna be a no for me. And then she fell by Alicia Elliott is a deep dive into the shattered mind of a postpartum woman. I loved it. We love it. Hangman by Maya Binyam is a terrific novel that is written with this mordant wit, this sense of playfulness that keeps you hooked right until the very end. Soldier Sailor by Claire Kilroy is... That told me nothing about Hangman, but it sounds exciting, so... It's a beautiful and harrowing novel about what it means to be a first-time mother. I've never seen this cover before, but I love that you can see the hands wrapped around the mother's neck. I think that that's beautiful. I feel like the cover, I just didn't like that orange cover. Sometimes I'm that shallow that when I don't like a cover, I'm like, eh, I don't like it. Night Bloom by Peace Adjo Media I'm is so a good for her to shine. childhood, friendship, status, and class, and I can't wait for readers to enjoy it. Enter Ghost by Isabella Hammard is just a beautiful, profound meditation on the role of art in our society, in our lives. It. it Lives of a Century Old Trickster by Mirna Lee is an expansive novel that spans a century and winds its way through different countries. Brothers Night by Vivi Ganeshananthar. I like that cover. Uh, is Visceral, historical, emotional is 300 pages. 300 pages. We love to see it. Okay. Okay, okay, guys. So, I have not heard about some of them, but but I will say that The Ren the Ren, Night Bloom, Western Lane, and Enter Ghost were all on my cover. So I love. I love that I got four out of 16. That's pretty good. And then a bunch of the others are on other people's lists or books that I haven't heard about and that I'm interested in. I am going to quickly look at my library and see what I have available and then I will be back for a conclusion. So we are back with my list and I am I'm so excited. We had three books that was already out from the library and we that is Enter Ghost, The Ren the Ren, and The Night Bloom. Super excited for all of these. And then there was three books that I could immediately get from the library and that was super exciting. That was Brotherless Night, Eight Lives of a Century Old Trickster, and then she fell. And then there's two books that are only a two week wait, which is amazing, River East and River West, and The Blue Beautiful World. And then there's two more books that have more like eight to 10 week waits, 
but we can hope, and this is The Ordinary Human Failings and Western Lane. I had Western Lane out in February and then I got overwhelmed and never read it. So yes, those are the 10 books that I will hopefully read and make reading vlogs on it, but we never know what other books might pop up in my library. Some of them might not be published currently, some of them might not be known, and then they will pop up as popular. So the six books that I couldn't get access to is The Maiden. I was really sad about this one. I was hoping to read it. We have Hangman, The Trace of the Sun, Soldier Sailor. This one appears to be published in Canada because I can see the like request form for it. So I will probably do that and hopefully it will come in. We have uh, Restless Dolly Maunder and then In the Defense of the Act. So In the Defense of the Act is probably on my bottom of the list. I don't think that I want to read it. Stuff Around Suicide is sensitive to me already. And then Restless Dolly Maunder does not particularly appeal to me. This is probably at the bottom of my list as well. And then The Blue Beautiful World doesn't super appeal to me, but pretty much the rest of them I'm, I'm super excited for, and I hope that I'm going to really love Ender Ghost, The Ren, The Ren, and The Night Bloom are obviously up there because I already wanted to read them and I'm excited. And yeah, Western Lane as well was on my list. So let me know what books you had on your list. Are you excited about any of these? Are you disappointed? Are you sad that Julia didn't make it? I am really excited to have a night of watching other people's reactions because that is always glorious, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!